First let's make it clear that this shadow we see is not a literal shadow, it's not really there, it's just a representation, let's understand its meaning and why the author decided to represent All Might that way. As you may know, All Might was for a long time the symbol of peace in Japan, he is visually inspired by heroes like Captain America and but his archetype is very inspired by Superman, in the sense that he is a symbol for the people and for the other heroes, and this symbology is so iconic that it becomes almost a standard, and we can attest to that when we see any image that has a superhero archetype and our mind automatically associates it with Superman, and those shadows that we see on All Might's face are inspired by the way classic Superman was drawn in the Golden Age, always with a lot of shadows due to the style of the time, with little detail on his face and always smiling. But the Monio, so the idea is just to make a reference to the classic Superman? Not only that, even today, artists still do this kind of shadow representation of Superman when they want to highlight his grandeur and everything he represents, so the idea of the author of My Hero Academia is to make a relationship with what Superman is to our world what All Might is to his world. But the Monio, if the idea is to draw All Might as Superman, why does All Might Young's face appear without the shadow? I answer you, because this is the representation of how people see All Might, All Might Young is not yet the greatest of all heroes, that's why when people looked at him, they saw him only as a person. All Might Older, who is hero number one, people see something much bigger than the individual he is, people look up to him and see everything he represents as the symbol of peace. And how do you see All Might? Leave it in the comments, and subscribe to follow the next content, until next time my people, demonic hugs.